Yahweh, Yeshua, and the Gods of Ugarit, Part 2. Baral, the Vigorous God. Twelve Propositions by Dr. Galen Curra. Five Presuppositions. The name Bachal means Lord, Master, Chief. Bachal was the most worshipped god in antiquity under many names. Bachal is the Greek god Zeus and the Roman god Jupiter. Bachal remains the chief spirit operating in world religions. Bachal remains the greatest enemy of Yahweh and of Yeshua. Twelve Propositions 1. Bachal is Lord The Ugaritic Bachlu equates to the Hebrew Bachal, Akkadian Belu, Amharic Bal, and Arabic Bachal. Yahweh is Lord of all. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. Yeshua is Lord over his followers. You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. 2. Bachal is king. Bachal reigns as the unseen king over cities and nations. Yahweh reigns over all creation. The Lord, the Most High is to be feared, a great king over all the earth. Whilst Yeshua is king. Pilate said to him, So you are a king? Jesus answered, You say that I am a king? 3. Bachal and the god Yam Bachal defeated the sea. Yahweh rules over the sea. Our Lord is above all gods. Whatever the Lord pleases, he does, in heaven and on earth, in the seas and all deeps. Yeshua walked upon the sea. In the fourth watch of the night he came to them, walking on the sea. 4. Bachal and the Sea Monster Bachal defeated a seven-headed dragon called Lotan. Yahweh created and defeated the sea monster. God my king is from of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your might. You broke the heads of the sea monsters on the waters. You crushed the heads of Leviathan. Yeshua calmed the sea, the wind, and the waves. Jesus awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. 5. Bachal Zaphon Bachal resides on Mount Zaphon in north Syria. Yahweh has moved the north to Mount Zion in Jerusalem. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, beautiful in elevation, is the joy of all the earth, Mount Zion, in the far north, the city of the great king. Yeshua came as king over Zion. Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, humble, and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a beast of burden. 6. Bachal was called Son of God. The supreme god El was supposed to have engendered Bachal. Yahweh announced that he would exalt his royal son over world leaders. I will tell of the decree, the Lord said to me, You are my son, 
ask of me, and I will make the nations your heritage. Yeshuach presented himself as that son of God. Is it not written in your law, I said, you are gods? I am the son of God. Know and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. 7. Baha'u rides upon clouds. Ugaritians called their storm god Baha'u rider on the clouds. It is Yahweh who rides upon clouds. Sing to God, sing praises to his name, lift up a song to him who rides through the clouds. His name is the Lord, Yahweh, exult before him. Yeshua will return riding upon the clouds. They will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. 8. Bachal dies and rises to life. Every year Bachal dies invisibly, later rising back to life, causing crops to grow. Yahweh raises dead humans back to life. Elisha saw the child lying dead on his bed. So he prayed to the Lord. The child sneezed seven times, and the child opened his eyes. Yeshua rose from death to life. Why are you troubled? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me, and see. 9. Bachal Shamem Canaanites believed that Bachal cast lightning and gave rain. Yahweh casts lightning and sends rain. That this people may know that you, O Lord, are God. Then the fire of the Lord fell. And there was a great rain. Yeshua multiplies food without rain. Jesus took the seven loaves, and having given thanks, he broke them and gave them to his disciples to set before the people, and they ate and were satisfied. 10. Bachal Zebub, Bachal Zebul. Evil Israelite kings inquired of Bachal. Yahweh punished those kings. Thus says the Lord, Is it because there is no God in Israel that you are sending to inquire of Baal-zebub, the god of Ekron? Therefore, you shall surely die. Yeshua made himself stronger than Bachal. Some of them said, He casts out demons by Beelzebul, the prince of demons. But Jesus said to them, It is by the finger of God that I cast out demons. 11. The Abomination of Desolation The prophets called Bachal an abomination. Declares the Lord, They set up their abominations in the house that is called by my name to defile it. They built the high places of Baal. In 168 BCE, Antiochus IV Epiphanes rededicated the temple in Jerusalem unto Zeus Olympios, who was a Hellenistic form of Bachal Shamem. Forces from him shall appear and profane the temple and fortress, and shall take away the regular burnt offering, and they shall set up the abomination that makes desolate. Yeshua foretold another such event. When you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by the prophet Daniel, standing in the holy place, flee to the mountains. 12. Bachal Beri Bachal seduces populations. The people of Israel turned again and whored after the Baals and made Baal Bueth their god. 
Yahweh abandons apostates. The king of Assyria carried the Israelites away to Assyria, because they did not obey the voice of the Lord their God, but transgressed his covenant. Yeshua offers to apostates a new covenant. Jesus took the cup after they had eaten, saying, This cup that is poured out for you, is the new covenant in my blood. Conclusion The spirit of Bachal remains active in the world to this day. Bachal is the spirit of Antichrist, a false son of God. In the end times, Bachal's image may be set up in the temple at Jerusalem. Those who invoke the name of Bachal risk falling under divine wrath. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved.